Black and Right is sponsored by the family and in memory of Ruth Steinau, a true American patriot. With all that's going on with the economy during the commencement at Arizona State, President Obama revealed his priorities. Now, before I begin, I'd just like to clear the air about that little controversy everybody was talking about a few weeks back. I learned never again to pick another team over the Sun Devils in my NCAA brackets. It won't happen again. President Crow and the Board of Regents will soon learn about being audited by the IRS. Note the polite but nervous laughter. That brings to mind a line from the 1986 movie Soul Man, where Harvard Law Professor Banks, played by James Earl Jones, said, I am not a humanist man, but if you're going to take up my class time making jokes, please see to it that they are funny. I hear you. Could this be yet another example of the most powerful man in the world rubbing that power in our faces again? I mean, Barack Obama has easily outdone the hated George W. Bush by quadrupling the national debt in less than four months, and since that promised middle-class tax cut is no more, just where do you think he's going to get the money to pay for all his wonderful bailouts and takeovers? That's right, we, the ordinary people, will dig deep, or else. By or else, I mean sicking the Internal Revenue Service on almost all of us. I say almost, because if you're part of the elite, the rules just don't seem to apply. When it comes to ordinary people, the government takes their cut out of our paychecks before we even see it. If at the end of the year we still owe, the government just up and takes it from the next year's return. If that still ain't enough, the IRS will garnish your wages. And that's if you're behind only one year. Now here's where that elite thing comes in. Some people get away with going several years without paying taxes. For some reason, they only get caught after being nominated for one of President Obama's cabinet positions. Notice how many positions are still unfilled? So maybe it's just me, but I don't see the humor in joking about the power to issue IRS audits on people over petty differences on college basketball brackets. In fact, once the American people really see what Barack Obama and the Democrats have reshaped this country into, not too many of us will get the joke at all. This is Bob Parks, Black and Right, and you can find my columns, videos, and radio rants online. I'll be back here next week at the same time on 97.3 FM WJDF.